Uh, there's a theatre where refugees are holed up in Mariupol and he attacks the theatre. He knows he's committing war crimes here. He knows he's committing civilian, he's hitting civilian targets. But he seems to have concluded that uh, that's the only way he can show he's a tough guy. It's not conventional military strategy at all, is it? Uh, well, you, you, there's, a, there's a number of things in, in what you say that we, we should just perhaps unpack a bit. Um, mm. uh, and, and the first is that, uh, yeah, uh, the Russian army uh, has stalled badly. It's, uh, it appears to have culminated, run out of steam. Uh, and uh, and there, there are uh, a number of ways it could be got moving again, and, and one of them is to introduce new troops. But clearly, uh, we've seen a number of quite senior Russian officers uh, being killed at the front line. Now, what are they doing up there at the mm. front line? They're obviously having to go forward and sort problems out uh, because their subordinates can't all mm. do it, and that's bringing them into the front line. Well, that's, mm. a, that's a pretty clear indicator that something's wrong. Um, they're also yeah. clearly having to rely on massive firepower uh, to take the place of morale uh, and infantry manoeuvre. Mm. Uh, and uh, and mm. they're doing what they've done in, in, uh, in Georgia, in Chechnya, uh, in Syria, uh, terrorising the population. Now, the use of military force against civilians deliberately, uh, rather than uh, collateral damage, uh, is unlawful. It's against uh, the laws of war. It mm. is a war crime. It's not unlawful that civilians mm. are killed in war. Uh, it's accepted uh, if it's mm. in proportion to the value of the target. And that's something that every commander has to take a judgment on. And it's all art and no science. Uh, but on the only things that may I be attacked are military objects. And, and someday uh, Putin and all his subordinates who have, uh, who have been tied up in this are going to have to answer for this.